Shua Tov, everyone. Uh, welcome to week 89 in our Tell Saturday Night Stories group. I adopted and supplemented this story uh, from a rendition in Living Jewish, which was first po- posted on Machayim weekly. I titled it The Emperor, the Elder, and the Fig. This is something different. It's from the Medrash, from 1600 year old Medrash, Tan Huma, and it's a great story for Tu Bishvat. Uh, the, Robian, the, the Roman entry, Adronius Kaiser, uh, known as Hadrian, was a cruel and wicked man. It was under his oppressive regime that the Bar Kokhba revolution broke out, which ultimately led to the destruction of the city of Betar and a huge uh, n- a number of uh, hundreds of thousands of Jews. However, Hadrian was not without a sense of humor, albeit a malicious one. One day, during the emperor's periodic visits to the Holy Land, he was strolling through an orchard in, Tib- in, in Tiberia, Tiberias uh, when he came across an old man. Uh, the elderly Jew with the long white beard was obviously well on in years, uh, well on in years, and he was busy planting saplings in the ground. Uh, ancient one, the Roman emperor, the old Roman emperor called out to him sarcastically, "You must have slacked off in your youth that you need to work so hard in your old age." No, your majesty, the Jew replied. I worked plenty hard when I was younger, and I see no reason to stop now, God willing. I will continue as long as God grants me the strength. Please tell me, grandfather, Hadrian urged, how old are you? Today is my 100th birthday. Then surely, Hadrian persisted in taunting him, you can't expect to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Will you not be in your grave by the time these trees bear fruit? Everything is in God's hands, the Jew answered. If God wants it to happen, it will happen. But even if it doesn't, my work is not in vain. In the same way my fathers toiled on my behalf, my labor will benefit future generations. Then here's to your good health, the emperor said in parting. And if you're still alive when these, trees fruit, fruit, when these fruits ripen on the tree, let me know. I will be happy to fulfill the emperor's command, God willing, the old Jew, the old Jew replied. Truth is... Uh, the Jewish elder's attitude is also expressed in the Midrash, in Tanhuma, as I said, in, on Kedoshim uh, 7. Uh, I think I'd like to read this to make sure I get it right. Exactly. The Holy One, blessed be He, said to Israel that even though you will find the land full with all that is good, you should not say, we will sit and not plant. Rather, you must be careful to plant, as it says, when you come into the land and you shall plant any fruit, fruit tree. Uh, just as when you entered the land and found plants that others had planted, so too shall you plant for your descendants. Um, so, 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 and this is what the elder expects of Hadrian, that he was planting essentially for his descendants. Uh, anyhow, uh, years passed and the young saplings grew into sturdy fig trees. Indeed, the old man lived to, to eat juicy and delicious fruit and continued to enjoy vigorous health. The time had come to fill his promise to the emperor. He filled a basket with figs and traveled to the emperor's palace. This was when he, the emperor came again to Israel. After some initial difficulties getting past the royal guard, the old man was granted an audience. But the emperor did not recognize him. What do you want, old man? He asked impatiently. And what's that in your basket? The old Jew reminded him of their previous encounter and the promise the emperor had extracted from him. The basket, he explained, was full of succulent figs for his majesty's pleasure. The emperor was shocked. After all, the elderly Jew had already been ancient at the time of their last meeting. Hadrian ordered a golden chair to be brought for the old man to sit on. He instructed that the basket be filled with gold in exchange for the figs. The emperor's attendants were very surprised at the honor being paid the old Jew until, he related, until uh, the emperor related the story. If the cre- and, and, and he concluded, if the creator saw fit to grant him such a long life, is it then not proper that I too should accord him honor? May you all have an inspiring, fruitful, enjoyable, healthy Tu Bishvat Seder tonight to celebrate Rosh Hashanah and Le'elonot, the New Year's Day for fruit trees in Israel.